Understand. And maybe we can do this without the sedative. Hmm? Does that seem like a fair proposition? think that we have had the occasion to be introduced formally. My name is Dr. Fenton. Miss Dr. Channing. She knows my file. She knows what happens when I fall asleep without drawing it. Unfortunately, Dr. Channing's husband fell ill. She's taken some time to be with him. I don't understand. She just left. Her husband's illness was very sudden. But she can't do that. She can't do that. She's been here from the beginning. She, she knows what I've gone through. She knows what's... What's that for me? It's okay, Dixon, it's okay. Emma was just expressing concern at Dr. Channing's sudden leave of absence. It's entirely understandable. Emma. Emma, this is your choice. Either you sit down and you help me understand what it is you've been going through, or we can sedate you and we'll start this again tomorrow morning. Where should we start? 
You have my file? You tell me. How about we start with this? You didn't read that, did you? You didn't read it out loud. No. Should I? No, 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 you can't. You can never say its name out loud. You can never say its name out loud. It started when I was 10 with my sister. Oh my God, you gotta wake up now! Wake up, wake up, come on! The nightmares were so bad, my older sister Claire would hurt herself trying to fight off whatever was attacking her in her dreams. No! My mother met with all kinds of doctors, but none of it did anything. Get away from me! Anything, the night terror has only got worse. My mother gave her life trying to save my sister. Then it took Claire. I should have run. Hello, is anyone there? I should have run as far as I could, but I didn't. Claire. came for you because you read that poem, because you said its name out loud. Emma, it says here that the windows and the doors were locked from the inside and that you were the yeah. only other person yeah, in the house. Yeah, of course it was me, right? The ten-year-old monster who murdered her mother and sister. Who was it who told you that drawing these would keep it from your dreams at night? I can't say. Can't say? Or you won't say? Because earlier on, you were practically begging Jeremy to tell us exactly why you were desperate to draw these things. And did you know that in order we found this? hidden in Jeremy's room. Now, he assumed that you had given it to him, but that's not the case. Is it, Emma? Jeremy started drawing these things in secret, hasn't he? You do know that giving someone like Jeremy, someone on suicide watch, a sharp object like a pencil, that's... Uh, that's a serious violation. Has Jeremy started talking to you? Because it's my understanding that he hasn't uttered a single word to anybody in about six years. Not since he killed his parents. Have you two bonded over that? Well, I guess we're done here. Dixon. Sir. 
Please sedate Emma and have her put in solitary confinement for the night. No, you can't do that. You Emma, promised. You have to come with me. You can't do that. I, I, you have to let me draw it. I can't fall asleep without drawing it. I won't survive the night. One night without making your drawings, will show you that there's nothing to fear. Emma, you need to. No, no, I can't. Down, keep you need to let down. me draw it. I won't survive the night. Please, 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 you can't let him. Please, no. Subconscious no. has invented this boogeyman as a way of coping with no, your you guilt. Can't. Only once you realize that can the real work begin. on the loose headed to sea wing. Jeremy? Jeremy? Jeremy! You go after him, I'll cut him off.
Jeremy, you've got to stop this. No! Emma! Emma! No! Jesus. Emma! Go get the doctor. Go! Is she alive? You can back up to the wing right now. Go. Emma. Emma? How are we this morning? Couldn't be better. Hmm. You have made considerable progress since we first met. Thanks to you. Next week, it'll be a year without a nightmare. Something has been brought to my attention. I want to talk to you about it. Emma? How would you feel about leaving us here at Hollybrook? Leave? A and go where? The spot's become available at a transitional foster home for young women. You'd spend seven months there until your 18th birthday. That's a way of easing you back into society. I think you're ready for yes. it. Yes, yes, very much so. Good. So do I. I'll be here in a couple hours, okay? What? So, so, so soon? Sooner the better, right? Emma, it's time to get on with your life. Congratulations. You heard all that? No. Jeremy, wait.
Jeremy's still not talking to you, huh? Not a word since he found out. We'll be okay. Who knows, maybe he'll start talking to the rest of us. That I'd like to see. Well, I just came up to let you know the van's here. You should probably head down. Okay. I'm, I'm almost ready. You do good out there, okay? No need ever to come back here, right? Yeah, I promise. How long has it been? Since I was ten, so seven years. Are you nervous? More like terrified. Hmm. Well, I'd say you left the horse behind you when you. I hope so. What are you doing? I said I just needed the socket wrench. <laughs> just like I know what that is. That's her, huh? She looks different than I thought. Why, what's a nut job supposed to look like? I don't know. More like you, I guess. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, the girls here, their bark is worse than their bite. You've just as much right to be here as they do. Do they know that? It's okay. It'll be fine. Girls, this is Emma. She'll be staying with us for a while, so I want you to make her feel like she's at home. Hi, I'm Paige. And this ray of sunshine here is Liv. Paige, can you introduce Emma to Miss Hill while Liv helps me with the groceries? Sure thing. Oh, it's okay. I've got it. Come on, it's almost dinner, so Mrs. Hill's probably keeping an eye on the kitchen. Liv. Come on. 
don't mind Liv. She uh, comes from a family of car thieves, so trust isn't really one of her strong suits. On the other hand, if you ever need a car, Jack, she's your girl. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> so there's only five of us. Uh, they let us watch TV till nine. Lights out at 10, so it's not so bad here. It's really not a bad place. They watch everything you do in here? Watch it in here be any different than out there. We live in a surveillance state now. Everyone's watching 24 7. <sighs> Don't mind Kate. She's one of those dark web paranoid types. Won't be happy until she burns down the whole system. At least I didn't burn down my own house, dumbass. That was a mistake. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> What's a mistake is listening to anything that these two have to say. If anyone should be worried about secret surveillance, it's you, Tess. Tess's ex secretly recorded her, you know. In a compromising way. So Tess broke into her ex's house looking for the video, but all she found were the police waiting for her outside. And where's the justice in that, right? Let it be. Anybody ask her to gesture what she did to get seven years at Hollybrook? Liv, I told you to leave this alone. Go ahead, Emma, tell him. This is not the time or the place for this. She's a double murderer. Where does Emma here kill both her mother and her sister? No, no, I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. What, so now you're gonna lie to us? Stop it. Right now, I mean it. No. <laughs> Liv, let it be. What you looking for, huh? Leave it alone, Liv. Oh, Liv, <laughs> what's this? No, leave it alone. Don't read that. Don't... You need to give it back. The sick man comes to those in what sleep. Stalking dreams. Don't. Dreams. Speaking it's You don't know what you're doing. Why don't you just give it back to her? Then you say it, invite the rhythm, and until on their deathbed, their blood is in the snare. You need Break to stop. Don't finish it. Liv, I'm die. warning you. Before I wake, it was a sick man. I sold it to you. What the hell's going on in here? Look, I am not sleeping with some nutjob murderer under the same roof as me. I don't remember you having a say in this, Liv. Either you get her out of here or I will. Are you threatening me? Because you've got to know that is a one-way ticket straight back to Juvie. Just call it back. Hey! Liv, no. Look, it's not worth it, Liv. I think I'll be here tomorrow. Lights out. What Liv was saying. Did you do those things? They say I did, but I know I didn't. <sighs> you never said why you're here. I um, knocked a girl's teeth out because she was picking on a friend. She pressed charges, so. Let's go, lights out. I think you should unpack. Hey. If you have a nightmare tonight, you should let me know.
Anybody else in I don't know. It, it, it doesn't make sense. It's not supposed to be here. It's not supposed to be outside of our dreams. Does anybody else know what this nut job is talking about? <gasps> Andrea, check the closet. I don't think so. Oh, for Christ's sake, Andrea. <sighs> Nothing. So what? Some person just came in here and vanished? It wasn't. It wasn't a, a person. What, you think I'm stupid or something? Yeah, maybe I should just uh, end you right now before you can do this to anybody uh, else. Stop! Uh, uh, Get off of her! That's enough! Look at what she did! Look, how could she do that? I don't know, but she's gonna tell me right now! I'm stop. so stupid! Right now! Let the police take care of this, okay? Just tell me! It, it was... It was this... The stick man. <gasps> Andrea? Was that you? You shouldn't have read that poem before. You should have never said its name. You guys have no idea what kind of danger you're in. For years, it's, it's only been in my dreams, but now it's here in the real world. I, I don't know how, but I know it's coming for all of us. Screw this. Maybe it was just the wind. There's no one. Look, look, if, if, if there was somebody else in the house, we, we would see it all on security cameras. Right? Let's stop. Just stop, all right? Come on, let's check those cameras. nothing here. What do you mean, nothing? It's like someone disconnected the cameras. There. The camera in the bedroom hallway. There, stop right there. See? That's Paige talking to me. I was in my room. She was. So there's no way it could have been me who disabled the cameras. Wait, wait, roll it back. There, in the dining room. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, that's perfect. That's just, that's perfect. No, it's okay, we'll just tell the police the truth. Then what world are they ever gonna believe us? Look, just erase it. You put the stuff on the cloud. There's no way to get at it. No, you guys, listen, you have to listen to me, okay? The police are the least of our worries here. Something's changed. I've never seen it outside my dreams before. Look, uh, I've had just about enough of your crazy, okay? Look, I saw it. You, you saw what? I, uh, I saw something in the room with Emma. She wasn't alone. Okay, so where did it go? Where is it now? 
It didn't look human. It's because it's not. And you all heard her read that poem. Now it's coming after all of you, too. You are both crazy. How do you think she did that to Kathy and Mrs. Hill by herself, huh? She couldn't, and you know it. What, you're saying that there's some sort of boogeyman after us? Yes! And it's not gonna stop until we're all dead. Oh, my God, why are we listening to this Fine. garbage? Don't listen, then. See where that gets you. Hey! Hey, where the hell do you think you're going, huh? I need to get back to Holly Brooks. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. You may not believe me now, but trust me, you will. But by then, it'll be too late. Emma, tell us what did this then. Tell us what it, what it is. Enlighten us. It killed my mother, and it killed my sister, and then it started coming after me, hunting me in my dreams. That's what it does. It hunts you down and wears you out until you lose the will to live, and then it takes you. I fought it for a long time, to the point where I couldn't fight anymore. And then I found a way to trap it. This is insanity. Oh, Liv, let her talk. Wait, if you trapped it, then how can it be here? I don't know. That's what I need to find out. Somehow it's broken free and stepped into this world, just like the poem said. Wait, wait, th th this is all from a poem? I told you guys she was a head case. Stop, just wait, okay? It's not like any of you have a reasonable explanation for this, right? And come morning, it won't be long before Kathy and Mrs. Hill are missed. What do you think is gonna happen then? She's right, Liv. You said it yourself. There's no way the police are gonna believe any of this. Like it or not, we're all in this together. I got her phone, too. You know, I really don't think I need to be here. You drew the short stick fair and square. If you want to change places with someone, talk to Liv. or not I will look I, I I I don't think I feel right about this just grab her feet look we're just gonna put them at the bottom of the staircase to make it look like they came in here after Emma because she was crazy or something and then one thing led to another and then bam she pushed him down the stairs I don't know Liv because I can't do this without you it'll be her word against ours okay Are you gonna help us out or not, Kate? Hello? Earth to Kate? What's with the map? Hey, where the hell are you going?
local student, Will Johnson, found dead in school, Jim's locker room. W.J. Will Johnson. Oh, my God. You okay? We have to go after Paige and Andrea. We have to warn them. Uh, I'll find the keys to Mrs. Hill's car. Uh, wait, what? What's going on? Emma might not be as crazy as we thought. They took Kathy's phone. Try calling her on that. What are you hoping to find here? That's so important. There's a patient there. He's like me. Since he was not, he's been hunted by the same thing that's after us. I don't know what to do. Do you think they're waiting for us? Wouldn't they have stopped us already? No. Something must have happened at the hospital. Now what? Pull over there. We can go through the forest to get to the back of the hospital. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I really think that we should just leave. Look, if you want to survive this thing, our best shot at getting answers is in there. I don't know why any of this is happening. We need to pull us together. But Kate, she said that everything she said was true. Everything Emma said was true. Listen to me. Come on. Look, I don't know what the hell Kate was talking about, but you can sure as hell bet that once somebody finds those bodies, we're all going away for a long time, lest we can figure out what the hell is going on here. What if we're next? That is not going to happen. We're going to go a few blocks over. We're going to jack ourselves a car, and we're going to go find Paige and Andrea. We're gonna get through this test, okay? We're gonna get through this. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, okay. How are you expecting to talk to this guy? I'm close with one of the orderlies there. His shift doesn't end for another hour. Maybe he'll... We're a little late. Okay, if we can make it over the back fence, we might be able to get in through the stairs next to the sea wing. The orderlies leave the door open sometimes during their breaks. We don't even know how much of the hospital is burned. There, there, there might not be anybody in there. I think we should still check it out, though. I mean, just in case. So it's a convicted pyro. Shh.
to stay out here all night, do you? Alice! Come on. Time to go back inside. Come on, Alice. Emma? I just... I didn't think I'd be back here again. I thought I was done with this place for good. So th there has to be another way, right? We, we don't have to do this. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm calling the foster home and telling Liv and the others what's going on. Maybe we should just keep driving and get out of town now. Not, not without warning Paige and Andrea. Okay, you're right, you're right. <sighs> you take a look at these, okay? Kate must have printed them out for a reason. These are all articles about dead kids here in Claremont. He said... No one seems to know what killed them. How many kids? I, I, I don't know. A, a lot? out the deaths of these kids why would she do that i don't know i just it seems like a lot of these deaths happened in the center of claremont and they've been spreading out ever since what do you mean spreading out each each one of these dead kids live farther away than the last so so it's like whatever's killing was making its way across town <laughs> 
What the hell was that? What the hell was that? This is what I saw, isn't it? What well, what I saw in your room with you tonight? He was trying to trap it. He must have known it escaped somehow, and he was trying to he's trying to trap it again. Trap it, trap it how? Until on their deathbed, their body can stay. If you draw it with your blood when you're dying, it, it traps it or somehow or sends it back to where it came. So did he? Did he trap it? They must have pulled him out again before he could finish. Again? What have you done, Gary? Stop! He tried to kill himself when I first got here. Slit his wrists and then tried to draw it. Jeremy! No! What are you doing? I have to finish drawing it! Gary! Stop! No! Back then, I didn't know what he was doing. But I think he was trying to save me. Maybe I should try and trap it again. I'll make another pass, or do you win now? I'll let you know if I find anybody. step until you tell us what's so important that it's worth getting us all caught. I just... Last year, I did what Jeremy tried to do back there with the drawing. Only I finished mine. And it hasn't attacked me since. Not until tonight. Not until this fire.
I need to know what happened to the drawing, and we, we need to find Jeremy. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. to keep us in solitary. That's where I trapped it. The, the, the fire destroyed the drawing. Break that keep into this world, it will tear. According to the poem, if you destroy the trap, it, it frees it into the real world. Free to kill anything that gets in its way. So how do we stop it now? We find Jeremy. Come on. They were still looking for Jeremy on the radio. We need to find him before they do. What, what, what are you doing? I don't want to be here anymore. Andrea, we're safer when we're all together. No, I think the safest thing for me to do is to stay as far away from you and all this as possible. There's no running from this thing. It's going to find you no matter where you are. Yeah, well, I guess I'll just take my chances then. Hey, Andrea, don't be stupid. Hey, just leave me alone. Let's just tell the cops everything. You know, like we should have brought this target and then maybe Andrea would still be alive. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, okay? We're in this on our own. They can't help us. What are we supposed to do? Just let that thing kill us off one by one. No, no, we need to find Jeremy. He told me how to get it out of my dreams. He figured out a way to trap it before me. If we can find him, he might know how to kill this son of a bitch once and for all. How do you know he's still alive? They were looking for him on the radio, right? They wouldn't be looking for a dead man. I don't want to die, okay? I won't let that happen. I promise. Jeremy managed to get out of here. He probably went to the only place he knows. Home. Yeah. Come on. His address should be in his file. in here.
This is... This is my file. Is that blood? Why would he kill him? I told him not to read it. He read the poem. What? What? Why didn't he listen to me? Let's just find what we came here for and get the hell out of here before that thing finds us again, okay? I'm gonna call the foster home. Find this address and get the hell out of here, okay? Check the desk. There's a payphone. There's a payphone, come on. Someone in there. Come on, they'll have a phone we can use to call Paige. Okay, okay, for the blood on your shoulder. Take this, cover yourself up. You okay? You're gonna be okay, okay? You look like you've had a rough night. Do you happen to have a phone we could use? We do. <sighs> but it's against store policy to let anyone use it. Look, let's just go. Okay. Um, maybe we could come up with some sort of trade. What did you have in mind? Let's just say that my friend and I would be, would be so grateful. One call, I'll lock the door. What exactly is this It's never gonna happen. Come on, Tess, what's the number? drawings in here like yours. No one here knows. Other than me, he's never told anyone. He stopped speaking the day after he said his name for the first time. Turn it off. I'm trying. Do they hear us? Paige. Hey, Paige, are you there? Liv? Listen, listen, it's real, okay? It got Kate and it's coming for the rest of us. Andrew's gone too. We should go. Tell them to meet us at the Bedford Bridge right before the hospital. Uh, did you hear that? 
Take the middle, guys. Go ahead. Okay, they're in the forest in behind the hospital. Send everybody you got. Are they two of ours? It doesn't look that way. They're wearing street clothes. Dex, it is found Dr. Fenton. Some, someone slit his throat. Jesus. What the hell is going on here? I think they found him. to make sure it's clear. Okay, but don't be long. Dixon. Ah! Emma. Dixon, before you do anything, I, I need you to listen, okay? Please. Okay? Emma? What have you done? Were you involved in killing those people, killing Dr. Fenton? No, no, we had nothing to do with that. You have to believe me. She's telling the truth. So you just showed up here. The day that you left, after all hell breaks loose. I don't think so. No, no, please. If we get arrested, we won't survive the night. Okay, we'll be dead just like all the others, please. Jason, you know me. You know I could never do something like this. Then help me to understand, Emma, what the hell is going on here? Okay, okay. I, I came back to talk to Jeremy. Jeremy? Do you realize that Jeremy tried to kill himself after the fire broke out? 
He tried to escape during the evacuation before we could fix him up. I would be very, very surprised, Emma, if Jeremy's still alive. You know what? No, he was just, he was just trying to stop it. Stop what? The thing, the, the, the thing from my, from my nightmares and, and from the drawings, it's real. I'm sorry, Emma, I really am. But you need some help. Please. dreams.
Jeremy? Go. I'm doing this on my own, okay? No one else is dying because of me. No, no, what do you mean? This isn't your fault. Look, it is, all right? They're all dead because of me. Your sister, your mother, dead because of me. No, no, they're dead because of that thing out there. I gave that poem to your sister, Emma. From a book that I found. I slipped it in her backpack on the bus. I did it to a lot of other people, too. I thought maybe if I passed it along, then maybe it would go away. But it just made everything worse. Look, it started with me. It's gonna end with me. Ah! What goddamn book? Emma! What are you talking about? Emma. Tell me! Okay, 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 okay. I moved into this house when I was nine. In the basement, there was a loose brick in the wall. And that's where I found the book. It like, like someone tried to hide it or something. I found a poem in there. That's when I first spoke its name. Where's this book now? When I... When it killed my parents, I hid it in the wall in the basement. I thought that maybe would stop it, but it didn't. Emma, please. Look, I, I tried to warn you. I went to the foster home, but the cops were there. You killed Dr. Fenton to find me? He wasn't going to give me your address. I did it for you. OK, I came here to destroy it for you. Right now, the only thing I want you to do is die. Emma, please don't do this. <laughs> You came here to end it. Now you're gonna help me finish the job. How do you know burning this book is going to kill this thing? I don't. My arm won't fit. Let me try. I'm sorry, Emma. I really am sorry for everything. Look, I was nine, okay? I was scared. I just didn't want to die. My mother was scared. And my sister was scared. They sure as hell didn't want to die either. If I could, I'd trade places with them right now. You know I would. Yeah, but you can't. Okay, so let's just find this book and put an end to it.
you guys can't come on. Well, little monkey, aren't you forgetting something? Thanks, Mom. Don't forget your lunch, okay? You have your project? Yes. You have a good day at school. I will. Whoa, Chloe, what's this? Amy gave it to me. She found it on the internet. <laughs> 